So these problems deal with finding um, input impedances, resonant frequencies, and phasers and stuff like that. So I'm going to keep this video fairly short because it's pretty straightforward. But I just want to show you, I guess, you know, how to do it, I guess. Um, finding in the book and stuff like that because you have all the formulas in the um, FEEIT handbook and so here we have hand resonant capacitance I mean in farads capacitor and an inductor here to find input impedances we're gonna have to add them together so but in order to do that we have to convert this into its impedance in ohms and then this into its impedance in ohms so we have the formulas on page 195 for a resistor it stays the same so ZR for a resistor is still 500 ohms ZL is given as J omega L so J omega is given as 1000 radians per second and L is 0.1 hand rays so this is equal to J 100 ohms and then finally ZC is equal to 1 over J omega C I'm looking at page, um, I didn't memorize this, I'm looking at page 195 again so this is equal to 1 over J thousand times the capacitor in farads, so minus 6 farads 1 over this whole thing and I'm going to use a calculator 1 over so I got J thousand does it make sense? because of the because in my calculator sometimes I put 1 times 10 to the power minus 6 sometimes I put 10 times 10 to the power minus 6 so I think it's 1 times 10 to the power minus 6 because I'm using the um, what do they call it FX 115 MS anyway so I have my uh, impedances so the Z total is 500 plus uh, J 100 plus and it's in series okay so the same thing applies when you have resistance in series so you add them all together same thing over here so J thousand you can check uh, your calculator and peer check this answer but essentially that's the whole process you convert them into the impedances and add them together if it's series of course if it's parallel you do the same thing for if you had a resistors if you had resistors in parallel okay so we we have that this is 616 so this is equal to 500 plus oh yeah because I'm adding the uh, A's together and the B's together A plus J B so 500 plus uh, J I hope it's right though yeah I'm hoping but anyway essentially that's how you do it so I find the impact so the first part of the problem is done resonant frequency is equal to let me look at my uh, book is given as omega zero as 1 over square root of squ LC so I have everything I know I have everything I need which is unusual in engineering <laughs> so um, square root of that L is 0.1 it's usually not this straightforward but essentially you know how to do it that's the whole purpose of this video so whatever that answer gives you, that's your omega zero. Now looking at problem number two here, find IA and IB. So the current's here and the current here. Now um, I have a voltage here and parallel circuit, so the voltage that would go through IB is the same thing here and is the same thing as this one over here. So the voltage is 100 phase is zero so IB using Ohm's law would be voltage which is 100 with the phase of zero over IB this is in ohms so I don't need to convert anything 
I can just put them together so minus J 6 okay and then I A is still the same thing 0 degrees over 3 plus J 4 So I just wanted to show you how to put, and then you calculate it, you put it in your calculator and you know, you can do it from there. I just wanted to show you, um, I guess, how to convert impedances and that's it. I mean, there's nothing else here.